Hello everyone, I'm Mahmoud Sami. I'm going to talk today about uh, an interesting topic which is improving and assessing logistics port operations in El Sukhna port in Egypt. This research is made by Dr. Khaled Ami and today we have in our agenda a little bit of information about the port. After that, the problem statement. We'll go after that to the current position procedures how the working is, how uh, the port is working recently and after that we are going to explain the new business model that we uh, put in this uh, research paper which is called time and move log operations procedures at the end we are going to talk about the indicators basis of computation and after that we will go to the conclusion EP world is uh, Dubai Port World. This is an uh, Emirati company. Uh, was found in 2005. Headquarters is in Dubai. The chairman and the CEO is Sultan Ahmed bin uh, Sulaim. The product of the of the company is about all. It's all about ferries, port services, logistics services. The company made in 2018 revenues around 8.5 uh, billion operating income was about 3.35 billion total assets is around uh, 26.5 billion total equity is 11.9 the company has around 5000 employee and this is the where is the port now we are going to talk about the problem statement. In the port, we have some problems related to the mobile components like the containers, cranes, and trucks. And they are controlled in semi-automatic manner, which can make some problems with uh, high cost operation, uh, mistakes, I mean human error. Our objectives in this uh, research paper we uh, are assuming that we can increase the port productivity and port capacity and of course enhancing the advantage of the port and the shippers as well who are using these ports at the same time we can reduce the operation cost human errors and container and trucks operation time this is the layout for one uh, terminal for the port you can see here up is the uh, quay or the vessel quay and right beside it the gantry cranes and in the downside from the left is the uh, stacking positions and right as well as stacking positions and the uh, inspection area so um, what about the current operations procedures first of all um, when we, we are receiving a container from some vessel or ship to the, sh uh, the terminal what's going on first it goes up on the ship goes some uh, a person called radio man deck this guy is um, just going to check the container the plant container to be transferred so you check the plant container number and type it inside handheld and after that just <laughs> assign it to the STS or the gantry crane controller and direct it to him and of course directing it in the uh, system as well by entering the container number after that moves the the gantry controller start to move the, the the crane to catch the container and move it from the ship to the shore on the shore radio man quay He's doing the same uh, job like the radio mandic, but he is just uh, entering the, the assigning the container to the ITV. After that, the tug master or uh, I mean the truck receive the container from the gantry and start to move with it to the planned uh, stacking position. When the truck reaches to that position, there is some uh, RTG uh, crane. Uh, the controller start to read the container number and type it inside the system again and check the plan position and after that start transfer the container from the truck to the stacking position and at the end he has to record the movement time after that 
It can happen, some, uh, the container need to be um, inspected in the physical inspection area. What's going on then? Uh, of course, the RTG controller assigned the container to the ITV or the truck. After that, record the movement type in the system to the truck. The truck takes the container, moves with it to the physical inspection area. Over there, there is another RTG crane. The controller reads the container number, record it in the system again, and check the plant's stacking position, transfer the container to the correct position. After that, record the movement type that he received a container for physical inspection and it is stacked in XYZ position. After that comes um, another job transferring a container to the X-ray inspection area and this is the container doesn't need to stay over there so it's just going through an X-ray machine and coming back. So what's going on here? First the RTG received the uh, job through the system then start to assign the container to the ITV record the movement type that this container with this number is moving for x-ray inspection and then transfer the container to the truck the truck takes the container drive through uh, uh, to the place where is the x-ray machine and then comes back to uh, the plan stack position then the uh, RTG controller is reading the container number, typing or recording the container number inside the system, checking the planned uh, stacking position, and after that start to move the container from the truck to the correct position and record the move. The same when um, container is coming back after uh, an inspection. It is almost the same like before. The last movement type is um, what is going on when a container is going out of the port. The first, the liner or the liner agent is sending his truck to the port. The truck is waiting over there and coming with some order, showing that to the uh, pre-check team and the pre-check team of course checks the paper uh, which container if it is ready or not uh, the truck is allowed to go inside or not for sec from security uh, wise and after that technical wise that if the container is ready or not so after the pre-check team is checking everything and the car the truck is ready uh, is allowed to come inside so they are directing it to the basically balance for weighing uh, to take the weight without the container only the truck after everything is ready a big paperwork is printed mostly it is a4 or bigger give uh, with the container number and the badge number and this badge number is some uh, number that is um, because we know that the container number is something so big but the badge number is usually something small contains letters and numbers uh, which is recorded in the system as well for the planned container. So it is something smaller that the driver can show to the uh, the RTG controller and he can read it from up on the crane and knows exactly which container should be moved. The truck is moving to the correct position and the driver is turning off the car and showing the badge number to the RTG controller. So the RTG, RTG controller is up on the crane, reading the number, then typing it inside the system and start to move the container to the truck and after that record the movement type. After the truck is uh, received the, the container, after that he's moving with the container to the basical balance again for weighing of course with the container which checkpoint that the, the truck is uh, carrying the correct container so if everything is okay paperwork is okay uh, weight as well as good everything is controlled so the port uh, the, is ready to send the truck out and the container out as well and this is the last movement time for these operations procedures 
uh, it has some limitations which is high cost for the radio man also a uh, low safety that it is someone is hanging up on some ship or even up on the shore that the container is going through up on his head which is a little bit dangerous it can be that the container can fall down up on him so which is something dangerous so um, also the trucks operations uh, printed papers uh, this something as well can cost a lot and we assume that we can eliminate this job as well through our new business model after that uh, the second limitation is the high waste time a truck processing while waiting uh, for assignment by the pre-check team which is can take a, a, a little bit long time it can be like 15 minutes or more a little bit takes a long time how the operation team was saying uh, the last limitation is the uh, human error which is can be made by the radio men and the rtg uh, controllers because these people they are actually reading the container number which is a little bit long also it is wavy it can be that something is erased or has some problem something damaged and so on so it happens that the uh, the radio men um, or the RTG controllers are uh, typing wrong container numbers in the system, which is can cause problems in the future. Uh, for example, by uh, by stacking or uh, by moving containers, it can be that they are tracking. For example, if you are tracking the container with the container number and we moved it to uh, from the storage location to the physical inspection area and after three or four days it is coming back to the stacking position but with different number i mean that the the rtg controller typed wrong number okay this can cause a problem because if you are tracking a number a container with xyz number and after that we found the last movement for this container is moving from the stacking position to the inspection area and it didn't come back i mean this number it is not typed again in the system that it came back from the inspection area however physically it already happened but in the system the last move was that from stacking position to the inspection area this is the problem it takes time until we search and the, the operation team can find the container again. So in this part, we're going to talk about the new operation model, uh, the time of log uh, model. Um, what is it about and how it is working? First of all, uh, what is this system about? It is, um, it is all about that using the RFID technology to um, do some jobs were done before by the controllers or the radio men and also to give more um, uh, same time tracking for the containers so the point is that the containers are going to be attached with uh, rfid chips and the gantries and the trucks inside the port are going to be equipped with readers also it will be uh, some readers inside the port only for tracking will be uh, according to the layout of the of the terminal will be put in certain places that need to each other that can cover the whole area of the stacking uh, or storage area inspection area and also the terminal shore so um, how it's working the first move type is receiving a container from the ship to the port in the before that we had some radio man was going up on the ship this job is totally eliminated and the gantry can detect and find the container by himself how's going on the container as we said that already attached with rfid uh, chip the gate the hook uh, the gantry hook is already equipped with a reader so just when the controller is moving the gantry hook towards the ship 
and goes to the position that he knows that it's supposed to be over there just it pops up in the in the screen that he is near to the container with this number catches it transfer it from the ship to the ITV he doesn't need to read the container number doesn't need to type it inside the system he doesn't need also to uh, choose the movement time after the game tree transfer the container from the ship to the truck the trucks is already as we said that it is equipped as well with a reader which is read the saved information upon this RFID chip as well then it he receives on the screen so it's just taking the container to the track to the uh, correct stacking position stops over there and at the storage area and uh, there is a R RTG uh, waiting over there for that cont uh, container then he doesn't need as we said before that first the controller was reading the container number which is written up on the container from the upper side typing it inside the system and to get the stacking position make the move the transfer from the truck to the stacking position after that choosing the um, move time in in the new model he doesn't need to do all of that he's just moving his hook to the container catching it and on the screen it reflects of course as the reader uh, which is attached which is up on the the hook is reading the the saved information up on the container which is i mean that in the rfid chip and receive on the screen right away that this container need to be moved to this position then he's moving it to that position and submitting the move and that's it he's not even choosing which move type he did um another move type need to be done this uh, in a sohna port which is transferring a container uh, from the storage location to the physical inspection area that just need to move his hog to catch the container which is from the position that appears to him on the screen and put it up on the truck the truck is moving after that to the position in the physical inspection area over there also is an rtg in is waiting for the container just moves near to the container the reader uh, up on the the rtg is reading the container number or the saved information on the rfid chip and it he got a pop-up on his uh, screen that this container needs to be moved to this inspection position then he is moving the container putting it just submitting the trans uh, the movement type another uh, type of uh, inspection is the x-ray inspection so in this case it's the same as we said before but the difference is that the container is not waiting there so it happens exactly the same steps but the truck is just going through the uh, x-ray inspection machine so uh, after the inspection is finished if it is x-ray or physical inspection it is the same steps as we said before that to transfer the container from the inspection area to the storage location exactly the same steps um, the last move type is uh, when we are moving a container out of the, the port the container is already declared ready to be shipped out of the port so what's going on here actually the the liner supposed to be planning with the with the port that the container is already declared ready to be shipped out and receiving uh, or sending an information to the liner that you need to come on that day to receive a container from that stacking position okay then the truck is supposed to be equipped with rfid chip as well and this rfid chip is supposed to have certain information which is the assigned container number the stacking position 
and that it is declared and also the truck plate number okay so the truck is arriving to the port gate after doing the security control the truck doesn't need to stop at the gate at all just going through slowly at the gate there is a RFID reader that reads the information uh, saved on this RFID chip that was attached on the truck and if everything is correct I mean that this is the correct truck plate number and the assigned container is already declared and ready to be shipped out then the gate is opening if this information is not matching and something can be stopped that for example wrong truck plate number or the container is not ready for going out yet then the gate is not opening which is some checkpoint and also it can save time and there is no human error in this okay so let us assume that everything is okay everything is correct then the gate is opening and the truck is moving to the stacking position that already the driver knows before reach to the uh, storage area to the correct position before that we said that the driver received that paper he has to turn off the car and show the uh, RTG controller the badge number which is something has some security issue as well in this case the driver doesn't need to do that just stays inside his car stops then the RTG controller moving his hawk towards the car to read the information uh, saved on the chip of the car then it, he received a pop-up on the screen that hello this is the correct car uh, the correct truck and it needs to receive that num uh, that container which is uh, stored in this position then he's moving to the correct position hold the container which is already control point as well that this is hello this is he receives a, a pop-up on the screen that this is the correct container then he's receiving it moving it to the truck and just checking the uh, the job that it is done correctly then the truck is moving back to the gate uh, before that I just uh, forget to say that the truck is moving through the basic balance as well to give the weight of the truck without a container or empty then with the container moving again up on the basic balance which is a check uh, point as well that the car the truck is holding the correct container then after the weighing it goes to the gate again and the gate in at this time is reading two chips two RFID chips then first the chip of the truck which is truck plate number the container number that needs to be uh, shipped out and from the container itself it reads the container number which truck is or which truck plate is assigned to this container and if it is ready to be shipped out or not if this information is matching and correct then the gate is opening if not then the gate is not opening because something is wrong and the pre-check team needs to check something here so what are the achievements that we can reach with this um, new operation model is that we are able to save 80,000 Egyptian pound annually cost how, when we are eliminating the radio man uh, or radio man jobs also we can decrease uh, the truck operation time and saving around 55,000 Egyptian pound per year this is the printing or the paper cost the last thing that we can uh, help with is increasing the productivity the port capacity and decrease the human error and in this part we are going to talk about the um, KPIs uh, first KPI is the average they use per vessel day and this assesses the overall productivity of gantry gang 
Another KPI is the TU uh, per gantry team hour, and this is assessing the the productivity of the gantry, the whole gantry team, which is gantry, uh, trucks, RTGs. After that is the TUs per crane hour, uh, and this assesses the crane productivity regardless of its type. So after that, the TUs per truck hour, uh, which is assessing the productivity of each truck. Um, the throughput uh, per linear meter, so this is something assessing the uh, linear meter productivity, which is working from the point of view of the uh, of the port. After that, the RTG controller's error rate, and this is working on uh, checking how is the RTG controller working actually, if he is making more errors or less, it's supposed to be less. Post container rate, this is something uh, checking the productivity now or the uh, working quality for the whole team. It can be trucks or RTGs as well. Consume times for uh, gantry to catch container. This is also uh, controlling how is the uh, the gantry controller uh, fast enough to catch a container. Uh, Tag master waiting time. Uh, this the same like before. And the last KPI is the truck uh, working time for the container, which is assessing the performance enhancement for the pre-check team after applying the new uh, operation mode. So in the conclusion. By applying the TNM log model, on one hand we can reduce operation costs, human errors, containers, and trucks operation time, and on the other hand, we can increase port capacity, productivity, and enhance the competitiveness and security level. That was all. Thank you for watching.